Good morning students. Object oriented analysis and design lab. Lab code is 8582. Today our lab exercise is 13. PBO management system. So, PBO management system. Every activity diagram drop under the building of the park. Today our project is PBO management system. So, our go EML. Our software record is Argo UML. This is the tool to design the UML diagrams, unified modeling language diagrams. It is used to the software developers how to make the software implementations. Activity diagrams in the menu bar, create button is there. Pressing the create buttons, you have a lot of options, seven diagrams options. By choosing this one also, you can draw the new diagrams. And also here also, the tools are available in the menu bar directly. By click on this tool also, you can draw new diagrams. So, BBO management system project. For that project, we will go to design activity diagram click on the activity diagram so you will get the tools like this all the tools relevant to activity diagrams we will get on the screen okay so we know very well this is the initial state in activity diagrams black color dark circle this is the final state dark circle around white circle these are all the activities new action states so so wherever you move the mouse on the screens it will display what that particular tool will do it will display okay so this is the broom you know very well new fork fork giant tool so it join two jobs into a single job. Fork, fork it will divide a single job into two job or more job. Decision box or new junction box. Okay. Action states we will draw. Purchase product. So in BPO management system, why is processing going on? By some product, user will go to buy some product. So why is called non wise call decision box? This is the decision box. Why is called activities on call? And if available, the user will order product and pay the payment, delivery the product to the customer if non wise call user does not accept non wise call on chart activity means the vvo the vvo agent will describe on his uh, computer or a chart in his computer like the customer uh, did not attend the wise call or the customer non wise call like that he will describe on his pc so this is the process going on the BBO process management system. Okay. So we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 activity box. So oval shape, oval shape box activity into. Okay. So by moving the cursors on this data line and by clicking and dragging the cursor like this you will get a space on the diagram space Three, four. Four. One. next junction function we need so 
junction box uh, decision box first to purchase product so we type on this purchase product this activation state so next decision box on call on chart to activities on call just click on the box and type it on chart then voice call we have to type voice call on the arrow so here association arrow is available here association arrow just click and try drop the association arrow which will place on the decision box or activity status so this line here we have to use fork okay. because it will divide the single job into two jobs We will use the fork, fork option. So here my arrow is not placed well. So I am pressing the escape key in keyboard. The arrow will go. Again, I will draw the arrow. Okay, now it is placed. On chart. Association arrow. Okay. Okay, next we have to draw. We have to type the text on the arrow. So how we have to type I will draw voice call non voice call so click on the arrow and type okay voice call and click on this arrow and type non voice call okay so next to this activation we will move here if available on call if available order product yeah. here also in decision box on call if available if customer take the call means and if available means order the product already that arrow is selected so I am typing the text only available on the activity box order product next payment delivery payment delivery product this is the end state payment click click on the box and type payment and then delivery of the product is the final state association link arrow to the connect the other product and the payment activity so this is the diagram used to do software developers by seeing this diagram only software developers can understand what this project is doing so by by this the software developer can easily make the 
code for that particular project so now my associate line is last placed on the final state so just I click on the escape button on the keyboard so that link will go on again I draw the association line so it is not placed okay now it is placed so save this project file save project as so we have to create the folder new folder bbo management system bbo management system folder in this folder only you have to save all the seven uml diagrams okay so bbo management folder we have to create new folder not new folder new folder option is there so bbo management system new folder on this bbo management folder we have to save this diagram as in the name of activity diagram activity diagram dot uml the extension should be uml okay so dot zargo is the extension it is support for the uml extension and xml extension okay okay save so now our diagram uml diagram activity diagram for the bbo management is draw and save successfully so thank you students